Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. Everyone. Welcome to Rougie Town Station. Now today we are going down to London because well this was supposed to be a day off today for me but uh, with the controversy that happens with Meridian Water Station not being opened I thought you know what I'll book tickets today to get myself to see if I can get to Meridian Water Station. Luckily that station opened yesterday on the 3rd of June so I'm going to visit visit it on the 4th of June. We'll be also today calling at the following principal stations. How Jeffrey, take the 9 pm to Hauser out of your mouth. Sorry about that. Hounslow, Barnes Bridge, Meridia Water, a brand new station. Now the reason why I'm calling at some of these stations is because there's the Royal Windsor Steam Express. I think that's what it's called. But um, they're running a, I think it's a Thompson B1 60163 Mayflower from London Waterloo to Windsor and Eaton Riverside. Now it's only doing a one way trip because it's going back empty stock back to Waterloo to do another trip. Because there's three trips to Windsor today from Waterloo with this steam locomotive. So when I get into London, I'm visiting Kensington Olympia first to get it empty stock through. They're going to be visiting Hounslow to get it on its steam work into Windsor. They're going to Barnes Bridge to get it by ECS through there, which will be diesel hauled. And then finally, we'll be visiting Clapham Junction to get it fly through there. So that's basically today's video. Then later on in the evening, I'll be visiting Meridian Water Station. So, we're waiting for the 0728 to arrive to take us to the Rooster Valley which is one mile, 25 chains up the line. Rooshi Trent Valley. We're only here to change trains onto the 0749 to London Euston. There's eight carriages. Change at Nuneaton for services to Leicester and Kensington. Please We now made it to London Euston. Now we're going to go on the underground to get to Kensington Olympia via West Brompton and another interchange on the way. I think it's Victoria, yeah. Victoria, West Brompton to Kensington Olympia.
I'm now at West Brompton Station. You can change here for the district line services to Wimbledon and onto Earls Court and onto Upminster. Also, you can change here for the West London line services to Clapham Junction and onto Wilson Junction with some go to Stratford. Now, I'm waiting for a Stratford train because I did just miss a uh, Wilson Junction train at 10.23. The next one is at 10.37. As soon as you get to Kensington Olympia, I'm only there for about roughly half an hour. I'm not going to be doing any filming, it'll just be the odd footage of um, especially the Royal Windsor Steam Express, which is uh, going to come through empty stock heading back to Waterloo from Windsor and Eaton Riverside. I think it's going to be Mayflower on the back of the train, 60163, the tops of B1, and there's a weird diesel at the front, but I don't know what the diesel is. As soon as you get it through Kensington Olympia, I'm straight to Clapham Junction to get that train heading towards Windsor and Eaton Riverside on the next location. Ran into a bit of a problem. The train I want to get out of there, Kensington Olympia, is running late. So I'm going to came into Shepherd's Bosch to see if I can try and get to somewhere quicker to catch the steamer. So uh, how I'm so still.
exit here for Tate Britain. This is a Victoria Line train to Brixton. Just made the box all with time to spare. Like a few minutes, that was it. I took a guess it was platforms. This platform here was right to go with it. I saw the enthusiasts at the bottom end. So I thought I'd go onto platform three and four, and it came through platform three, which was brilliant. Because it did say we were tired trains, but it was going to pass. Now, Hounslow might be off because I was supposed to be there before that passed, but with four minutes to spare. But now that's gone through, I missed the train to Hounslow. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing now. So get to Bars Bridge. 26 Southwestern Railway service to Weybridge via Hounslow. Calling at Queenstown Road, Clapham Junction, Wandsworth Town, Hutney, Barnes. Barnes Bridge is
Now, after running around Boxall like a headless chicken to try and see which platform Mayflower is coming through, oh, if I mention any numbers wrong with Mayflower, it's actually 61306. So if I mention any numbers wrong, I have probably corrected them in the video. But um, yeah, so I'm at Hounslow now. Now, I have started 15 minutes later filming here, as planned. I'll be leaving here 15 minutes later than planned. I'll be getting to Barnes Bridge 15 minutes later than planned. Still filling up Barnes Bridge, but I'm leaving Barnes Bridge 15 minutes later than planned. I can't get Mayflower at Clapham Junction now. I'm going to have to get up at Barnes or somewhere down there. But um, also mentioned earlier in the video, Jeffrey, take the IPA to house though out of your mouth. Now that's because there was a Family Guy quote from the episode Damn It Janet, which Stewie Griffin says that. Now anyway, we're not here to talk about Family Guy, even though I do like that show. We're here to talk about Hounslow. Now Hounslow Station opened on the 1st of February 1850 on the completion of the bridges and embankment. But there was a temporary platform at Hounslow which was open 400 metres northeast which is the present Islesworth station. Now the station was featured in the music video for the 1982 Death Ache Mode song See You as well. The song was actually called See You. But anyway, we're here till about one o'clock and then we're moving on to Barnes Bridge. Okay, this train's so early, it's actually got here four minutes earlier than planned. So it's got here for 12.54, but it doesn't leave here till 13.01. So, time is now 12.57, but anyway, we'll go to Barnes Bridge, do what I was filming there. We just come off those um, class 458 EMUs. We're at Barnes Bridge now. I don't have time to go to the other side of the station. But I think the train actually passes in a few minutes. If I do have time, I might just run over quickly. If not, I'm actually gonna have to stay on this side. But um, yeah, I think the best bet to stay on this side, to be honest. Because they're not too far down. 
It's all right, what you can hear with the background, there's um, the other main line. That because Barnes um, actually has two light, four tracks that had two branches off it to here on the Hounslow loop and two go by Twickenham. Anyway, I think I'll wait here for the 47. I'm now at Barnes Bridge. Now this station actually opened later than probably some of the others on this line. So when there was railway lines through here towards Hounslow, there wasn't a railway station here until 1916. Now this station opened the 12th of March 1916 on the Surrey side of the River Thames. These towards Barnes Railway Bridge, which the station takes its name from, which is just down the bottom there. Barnes Bridge is more centre to Barnes than actually Barnes Railway Station, which is just further down the line there. So we're here 15 minutes later now. We'll be leaving here 15 minutes later. And between now and when I get off the train, I will be planning where to get Mayflower next. It won't be Clapham Junction, because I think I was uh, pushing it at Clapham Junction, to be honest. So I might have to get it Barnes and then just get on the next train out of Barnes to somewhere. I was planning to go to Victoria but I might go back to might go to Waterloo to be honest. Yeah, I might go to Waterloo or I might get off a of box or I haven't decided yet. Anyway, I think I hear the L crossing coming down down the bottom. So there is a train to come in in a second.
Right, it's official. I'm going to Barnes to get Mayflower, not Clapham Junction as planned. I was looking at Putley and Putley had a four minute gap to, between the tray that I got off on and Mayflower passing through. Barnes will give me a bit more time. And the weather's not really been good today to be honest. It's better, mind you though, it's better than the sun we had over the weekend. But it's been raining on and off, which is expected today. They just put the lights on actually, so I think the clouds are darker. Anyway, we'll go to Barnes, get Mayflower, and then I'll tell you what we're doing after that. I'm now at Barnes Station. As you can see the junction up ahead, the line going that way is where we came from, which is the Hounslow Loop, and by Richmond and Twickenham, it's that way. We're waiting here now for Mayflower to come through, and then that's it for today. But I'm not getting the evening run because I need to be in Meridian Water this evening. But um, we may go on Platform 4, even though the safest best is Platform 3.
now come to Knoll Park Road. Now this is uh, six minutes away from Wood Green Tube Station. Now the reason I come here is because we're actually I've been looking around and I have noticed some disused railway stations in this area. And there is one actually just round here. This is um, Knoll Park and Wood Green. Now this station was um, on the Seven Sisters to Bowes Park line. So I'm going to see if we get a few shots and then I'm going to head back to the tube station. So the uh, building behind me is where um, Noel Green and Wood End Station was, which was on the Palace Gates lines between Seven Sisters and Bowles Park. The station was opened in 1878, it closed the passages in 1963, and it just closed for freight in 1964. No station replaced it, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going back to Wood Green Tube Station now to get towards Stratford so I can get to the final station of the day. Meridian Water.
This station marine water has everything that Angel Road did not. Well, mostly everything. It's got an easier entrance and exit to the station because with Angel Road, it took about two minutes and 40 seconds to walk it from the station entrance onto the platform. You could do that at half the time here. It's got disabled access lifts, which never had it in Angel Road, which you couldn't even get onto the platform from the street level because it was all steps. It's got DRO boards, which not really a major thing, but it's even got station announcements, which Angel Road did not have. The only difference is they don't have stand clear announcements, which Angel Road never had. But this station is the station of the future. It's a modern station. It's a brilliant station. I do like it actually. Angel Road I did like, but this one's better than Angel Road. It also has fast trains too. But yeah, and it should be better with services in the future. It should be better where they build all the 10,000 houses. It should be better where they have 6,700 jobs that may be available here. But this, they say that could be the four times amount in a year that Bergen New Street Station would have. Because they're roughly thinking that there could be four million people here in the year. And my train is delayed. But unlike uh, Angel Road, I will be back here next year. Just um, arriving into Northumberland Park. Now, I have been to Meridian Water and it is a good station to be honest. Anyway, we're going on to Stratford now because I'm going to get Stratford and onto Liverpool Street that way. Press that when open so you don't hold that. To open it.
it's back to Rishi Trent Valley. But hopefully, unlike last time, they don't cancel the train. We're not going to Tamworth to Bergen to Rugi again. Stair City used to be 40 minutes now. I'm going to wait for this to come in at 2030. Front one's going to Crew by Birmingham, which is 350-375. Ah, I need that. And the front one is going to be my train. 1U51, 24-6. And you put a slash one on it. Mm. I'll use that top now. Anyway. 24-6 crew has just arrived. I'm now at uh, Rugby Station. Unfortunately, we have been delayed because we're waiting for some train crew to arrive from the North End. What's happened is uh, there's been a trespassing incident between Nuneaton and Tamworth. So we were supposed to leave at 21.45, it's now 22.02. And unfortunately, we can't leave here roughly to about 22.24, which means I'll be back at Rouge and Trent Valley around 11 o'clock or after. So it looks like I'm walking back in and maybe back at midnight. Brilliant. So I'm just going to sit on this tray for a while, wait for the tray crew to show up and see what happens then. But we should be on the move about 22, 24 hopefully. That's a rough guess they gave us. In now a new shocking development, the train I'm on now is only calling at Nuneaton, Stafford and Crewe because the snow line being blocked can't call at Atherston, Tamworth, Litchfield and Rugeley, which means I can't get to Rugeley by train. What's happening now is I'm going to have to go to Nuneaton, get off at Nuneaton and I think I'm going to have to be on the replacement bus from Nuneaton. Oh dear. Not good at all. Not good at all indeed. We'll see how we go anyway. We have aboard this London North Western Railway service to Crewe. Now I've made it to Nuneaton. It's going to be a long journey back home, I'll tell you that. It's 22.41 now. Now I'm going to go to see what's going on. Hopefully there should be a replacement coach waiting for me to take me back to Rooshi Trent Valley. In fact, by the way, I'll send it to Rooshi Town. So I'm not walking half an hour back from Trent Valley, but see how it goes. Alistair, Tamworth, Ridgefield, Bougie, Stafford, Stoke. Is it easy now? As soon as
the um, Brookhaven Cross, I've just left Tamworth Station. Now, whatever the problem was on the snow ride has been sorted because they are starting to move trains on the snow ride again. What's happened was though, somebody decided to, ooh, I'll climb onto a freight train. So the freight train stopped north of Atherston and no trains couldn't use the snow ride because it was blocked because of that. So it was a trespassing incident, but someone decided to climb on the freight train. Now what I have noticed on um, open tide trains is that to Atherston, most of the trains that were using the snow ride got back on the snow ride, including the train that got off at the Neaton 1U51. That actually went back on the snow ride through Tamworth, Litchfield and Rugeley. To be honest, they could have stopped that train at those stations, but um, they just wanted to get that train there quickly, the crew. So, it's um, really 25 past 11. And I don't know what time I'm actually going to be in Rugeley, but there will be a half an hour walk. I just didn't get a taxi back, to be honest. Thanks. <sighs> well, I'm at Rugey Tread Valley Station. Sadly though, there's no trains to Rugey Town because the last one left at 23.01. And now it's 005 in the morning. It's Wednesday morning. This is all because of some stupid idiot decides, oh, you know what, I'm going to climb on top of a freight train. Now, to be fair, I don't know the exact situation because it, you don't know, but it means now I've got a half an hour walk to get back to my house. And I won't be there till probably 20 to 1. All I've got to say is, damn it, railways. <laughs> right, I'm going to do the sunrise off at my house well, the next day, or when I feel like doing it because I'm not doing it now. I just want to get back home and get some sleep because I've got work in about 13 hours. Been on this walk now for about 20 minutes or so. I've only just approached the arches where the chase line goes over this road and that's just before Rushi Town Station. But there's not much traffic, there's a taxi coming down. I did try to ring for a taxi actually. But I'm um, going to get through, so this is why I'm walking it back. Which is insane, to be honest, because I've been up for, well, for nearly 16 hours already. Been up since 6 o'clock this morning. Well, no, actually, I'll tell you, 6 o'clock yesterday morning. And it's now gone midnight, it's like nearly half past. And it's bloody insane, I'm actually doing the walk from Trevay to town. Even though it's all uphill. Zebra crossing, I'm crossing. Anyway, there's nothing here. So, just right in front of me now is the arches that carries over the chase line, which is just here. Rugey Town Station is just underneath these arches. 
and then you turn right at Gold Wharf Road. I'm going to carry on now because I'm almost about 10 minutes away or so like that, 10, 15 minutes away from home. And to be honest, I do want to get to bed because I am knackered. You can probably see it on my face. <laughs> but yeah, I am knackered. But I'm still going. Well, you got to really, you got to keep on going. So we're just going under the arches now, where the chase line between Rouge Town and Rouge Chavez is above us. And just down the road from here is where I roughly live for the area of Britain, which is down the main road. But if you go this way here, that's Wharf Road right there, which takes you on to Rooty Town Station. But I'm not going that way. You don't know who's up there at night, to be honest. I'm going to go carry on that way, up the main road, to get back home. People do say, do not blog in the rain, because it does ruin the video to bit, a bit. And to be honest, I do kind of agree with them, because it's never no fun blogging the rain, but I had to do my outro, and unfortunately it's raining, and I had no choice, really. So, today's event, well, Today's event is from the video, because this was actually filmed on a different day. But uh, it has started quite smoothly going down to London, everything was fine. The next minute, got to Kensington Olympia, that was fine. Got uh, Mayflower and the 47 going through the station, even though it was a bit of a problem because there was bowlage on the other side, so I quickly rushed over, got it right through there. People on the other side got bold that day, but I didn't because I'm afraid train slowing down and stopping. So the next uh, part was really bad because the train, the train to Clapham Junction was really late, so I had to, to go to Shepherd's Bush to change onto the Central Line to get to Oxford Circus, and then get down to B Boxall. Then I was running around Boxall like I had this chicken until I managed to find the right platform and got the train fly through there, no problem. Couldn't do Hounslow, which was my original plan to get the steamer through, because rarely you get steam locos on the Hounslow loop. But I um, went to Hounslow Airway, did some filming, went to Bard's Bridge, did some filming, got the empty stock through there with Mayflower the 47. Then I was planning to go to Clapham Junction, but um, fortunately I couldn't because of their uh, time and all that, so I had to get this tour on a second trip through Barnes. After Barnes, I went down to the Dishu Station, which I can't remember now. I think it was Noel, pa Noel Parker Wood End or Noel Green and Wood End on the Crystal Palace, no, on the Palace Gates line. So, this is the problem where you try to do blogs weeks after you've done your video because you do kind of forget. Just a little tip there, try and do it as on the day as you can and quickly. Or the next day or something like that, not like in a few weeks. Anyway, but yeah, so I did that Dishu station, then um, went over to do what I wanted to do that day, moved to Water Station, which was quite a nice station, replaced Angel Road. Then, after Meridian Water Station, went back by Stratford to um, London, Liverpool Street, got on the tube back to Euston, left Euston all right, and then it, rugby was the problem. Because they had to wait for the driver to come down from the north. Because there was a trespassing into Athelstan. I heard rumours that someone was playing chicken with the trains, I heard someone was just trespassing, I heard someone that was just on top of the freight train, it was a trespassing incident, but it was a bit serious of a trespassing incident than a minor one. So they couldn't stop any trains on the slow line, so they ended up having to take the train to the Neaton. Only passengers for Atherston, Tamworth, Mitchell, the Rouge had to get off the train and get a place of bus coming back. But I will 
that I did notice something on the way back on that day and I'm appalled because they did actually ride the train on the slow lines after Abington Junction, they put it back on the slow line, Tamworth, they couldn't stop the train at Tamworth, they couldn't stop the train at Nitchfield, they couldn't stop the train at Rugeley, but they didn't. Now I understand why they wanted to get that train so quickly back to Crewe. They could even just chuck us on the next one, because the next one did stop at those stations, and we could have just waited at least a bit longer. But I don't know why they had to put a place a bus on. They could just, but but the problem was they didn't had a clue if the Nash train was going to stop at them stations or not. So that's why they had to put the bus on, which is fair enough. But they did it, and that's how it was. So got back after midnight and walked it back home. Next trip is going to be crew all change. They have um, cancelled trains here today, so if you hear cancellation announcements, that's why. It's going to be crew all change. I have been there actually, it has been a good event, but I'll let you show, see it for yourself on the next blog. There will be a lot of audio in it as well, so if I do put you to sleep, I do apologise. So, but, um, yeah. So that will be the next one, Crew All Change. No social media is by now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for Crew All Change.